On line 6, we're going to get not B. And on line 7, we're going to get not not A. And guess where that comes from? That comes from line 2, negated disjunction composition, decomposition. Line 2, negated disjunction decomposition. Okay? So, uh, on line 2, we have it is not the case that B or not A. Now, that means, oops, I missed something there, not the uh, That means both not B and not not A. Okay? Now in line 8, we're going to do our negation elimination thing, and we've got A from line 7, negated negation dis decomposition. Alright, so we've gotten rid of that one and that one. So we've done work on this sentence and this sentence. We put check marks by them and say those are completed. We could even do this and say that's completed. Because we, we, we went through that, we did a line on it. Now, Line 9, we're going to decompose this one into its atomic sentences. B and A. B and not A. And then, of course, line 10, what can we do here? Uh, we can get B from this and from this. And we could just do the same thing. The same rule applies on both. Uh, oh, here we justify this, by the way, by saying line 3, disjunction, decomposition. And that, of course, is line 9, ampersand decomposition. Line 11, we get A by decomposing the other half of that. And we get not A by composing the other half of that. So that's from line 9 and percent decomposition again. And now we've decomposed it all the way to the end and we can check our truth functional validity or whatever. A, B, A, not B. So we've got the claims of not B up here and the claim of B. Oops. Not B, B. And, in fact, it's also claiming not A. And we've got A. So that's definitely out. So this set is truth functionally inconsistent. Okay, next we have G or H or I. G or, and then we have H or I. And not the case parenthesis G or H not parenthesis G or H line 3 not H or I not parenthesis H or I and line 4 not I or G not the case that I or G so uh, we've got those four assumptions, if you will, which they abbreviate SM. Uh, line 5, what we're going to do, of course, is decompose everything. We'll start, uh, if we may, with line 2. We're just going to do a negated disjunction decomposition from line 2. If it's not G or H, then it is not G and it is not H. We know both those must be the case. From line 2, line 2, negated, disjunction, decomposition. Alright, line 7, we're going to get negative, negated H and a negated I from line 3, negated disjunction, 3 composition. So, negated disjunction, the same thing here. from line 3. Alright, line 9. We're going to get a negative I and line 10 negative G. 
when 10 is negative g, and where did that come from? Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, line 9 is negative i. And line 10 is negative g. Where did that i and g negatives come from? Let's write line 4, our negated disjunction from line 4. Decomposition line 4, negated disjunction. In line 11, we're going to go, skip going down a bit here, and we're going to decompose our disjunction from line 1. And we're going to say G is one of the possibilities from our disjunction on line 1. And we're going to say our other possibility is H or I. Oh, by the way, we could tick these off as we go just so we know we worked on them, but uh, whatever. So line G has ended in all atomic sentences all the way down. And we can see just on line 10 there's a not G and G, so we know there's a contradiction there, and that line is done. So let's go down to line 12 and decompose